So you want to know how to enable and use virtual background in Zoom. First you want to hit the settings icon, then navigate on down to virtual background. Then it's just a matter of choosing an image. And then the very next meeting that you join or start will have that image preloaded and ready to go. Damn coronavirus, I really needed that coffee. Welcome back to Level Up Your Video Skills, the channel that inspires and educates busy professionals with all things video on your device and desktop. Today's video is all about how to use the virtual background feature in Zoom and how to get the most out of it. Let's continue. If you don't see the virtual background option in settings, it means it's been disabled in the deep settings. Head on over to zoom.us, hit the settings button, do a quick search for virtual background, scroll down and enable virtual background. It'll save automatically, but then you'll need to quit and restart Zoom. You'll now see virtual background pop up in settings. Now, Zoom defaults to I have a green screen. So if you've got a green screen, then obviously leave this checked. And I have a guide on basic green screen setup in a different video. If you don't have a green screen, then just deselect it. If you then get a message saying, your computer sucks, time to upgrade, blah, 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 then it means your computer hasn't met the minimum requirements. Requirements which you can check on Zoom's homepage under virtual background. Generally, you'll need a computer and operating system less than say seven to 10 years old. And you'll also wanna have the most recent version of Zoom, which is kinda of handy because they're always introducing small little tweaks to make the app even better. Now, assuming your computer is good to go, you can now choose a default background or video or even use a custom one. More on this later in the video. To go back to your natural video, just click none. Now a quick mention on mirror my video. This is only for preview sake for yourself. People will always see you the way they see you when they look at you in person, no matter if you have your video mirrored or not. If you're already in a meeting and you wanna adjust your virtual background, come on down the bottom and hit this small arrow and then choose virtual background to bring up the settings screen you're already familiar with. And you can make changes from there or hit none to remove your background. To make you and your virtual background look great, there's a few things you need to do. First, you need to learn the basic steps on how to position your device's camera and the light source you're using to look great on video calls. And you can do that by looking at this video here. I also share some tips on how to best set up your natural background. Four quick steps to make you look believable-ish in your virtual background is have your camera so it's at eye level and have a light source that's more or less in front of you. Have a background that is plain, for example, a white wall, or at least something that has some consistency to it, like my cupboards behind me. An important thing to keep in mind is to make sure you're not wearing the same color shirt as your background. Make sure the background and yourself are both well lit. And besides that, the virtual background software is pretty smart. So, when to use a virtual background? Well, generally I recommend using a natural and dressed up background, such as this, as suggested in the video I mentioned earlier. It shows a little bit of professionalism and effort. But here are some scenarios you might want to use a virtual background. Maybe you've downloaded a cool office-y photo that you want to show off. Your only quiet and distraction-free room has major clutter. You've gone to the effort of making a business-y background or some branded imagery. Or you just want to joke around with some funny photos because who doesn't love dogs? I mentioned earlier about uploading custom images. I can recommend you browse Google to find some office images you might like to download. Or if you want to be more legitimate, purchase a license of some stock imagery from a place such as Shutterstock. Then you might like to use a service like Fiverr and pay a designer five to 10 bucks to put your logo in one or two places in the image you downloaded. Or you can just take a photo of yours or someone else's nice office, foyer, boardroom or similar. Try it on your phone and just take a few shots from chest level, but you also try a few different angles. You want to find a place that has uh, some nice depth to it and doesn't have an object too close to the camera. Guys, play around and see what works for you in your virtual background. Thanks for watching. I hope you learnt or were inspired by something in this video. Please subscribe here for more videos like this. Check out the next video here and the full Zoom tutorial playlist here. I guarantee you'll learn something. I'll see you guys in the next one. I really hope those flowers didn't look fake. <laughs>